Hello campers, hope you're well, Heidi hi. Yeah, hi guys, uh, just uh, a follow-up video. Uh, I promised I'd do one, so I'm going to do one. Um, and it's a follow-up from the video uh, for the review of the Kais heated jacket um, that fits under your textile jacket, or you just wear it as a normal jacket, and it keeps you warm using the power from your bike. Now, Kais have said that the jacket um, cannot run on the battery and I disagreed because it can and I know it can um, so what we're going to do today is Postman Pat's bin and he's delivered these these are Samsung 30Q um, lithium ion 18650s if I can I can open one there we go so let me see if I can get that into focus oh no I'm kind of piss there we go so they're sold by 18650.co well dot uk strange but anyway so these are three amp um batteries and the samsung inr 18650-30qs that means that will give you that's a, a three amp battery 3.7 volt nominal voltage um so put three in series you will get nominal 11.1 maximum 12.6 so positive negative positive in series you get 12 volts two lots so 3s so three cells in series 2p two in parallel you're going to get six amps now Kais sell their battery which i think from memory is 5.2 amps 5200 milliamps uh, they want 80 quid they want 80 quid so far this has cost me 26 quid and I get 6 amps so I've got bigger batteries the Samsung the good batteries they're not uh, yaki taki moko fly by night Chinese uh, gonna break in 10 minutes crap these are decent decent units they put these in laptops for Sony and Lenovo and uh, even I don't know whether Apple use them or not but anyway the big laptop manufacturers use the, the Samsung's and the Sony's so good batteries so we're going to turn this pile of bits um, we've got a socket a battery management system or otherwise known as a BMS bits of wire some heat shrink some batteries we're going to turn all that pile of crap into one of these which will just slip into your pocket plug the jacket in Jobs are good one. Now I've not done any measurements, but with six amps, it'll definitely run the jacket for an hour on full. But on full, it's too hot anyway. So on low, I'm I'm hoping this is going to run the jacket up for over two hours. So if you're out and about, or you don't want to wire stuff on your bike, <clears throat> you can use these, and you've got two hours of warmth from this little little package that'll turn into about this big. So what you're going to need is a BMS, and these are a 20 amp BMS, it says it on there, get that in focus if I can, you see that, yeah, it's a 20 amp BMS, available on Amazon and Banggood and all sorts of daft places, CPC, um, I think I paid 8 quid for 4, so about 2 quid, two quid each, and basically these will protect your batteries from overcharge over discharge so you can't discharge the batteries too far once they get to a, a, a minimum voltage the BMS will just cut the power if you try and charge them too high the BMS again just cut the power more importantly what this will do it will balance the cells so you've got three cells it'll stop them going out of balance uh, and what I mean by that is when you're charging them it, it won't take this one to 4.2 this one to 3.8 and that one to 4.1 it will balance them all out and it does that by taking um, current from this one and bunging it in that one uh, or vice versa 
so it, it just looks after your batteries they'd last a lot longer if they're balanced um, so a BMS some bits of wire some heat shrink you're gonna need um, a soldering iron definitely um, a spot welder for batteries if you've got one would be better because these don't like getting hot you can solder the tops of them but you've got to be quick and you've got to have a big iron um, you're going to need a heat gun as well and uh, yeah that's about it that's all you're going to need so what I'm going to do I'm going to um, time lapse through it stop at any important bits I come to uh, and hopefully you, you know what I'm on about and you can go away and build one of these yourselves so this will give you a 12 volt battery you can put in your pocket it'll give you 6 amps boom and it's going to cost you with all the bits 30 quid instead of 80 quid so let's get on with it okay then first things first we have to clear the area and we have to stick these together so it looks like a battery pack and we're going to use the heat gun uh, the hot glue gun for that we'll clear the You need that to be able to spot well. Um, you'll see this, the, the amount of juice that comes out of here in one go actually makes the, the cables flex as the power comes out. Um, but you'll see it's a fecking fly in here, it's doing my tits in. Um, so we'll get on with that. Um, you can solder these. Um, the button tops a bit easier, um, but when you start trying to solder onto the negative side of the battery, the heat gets taken into the cell really quite quickly. So you need a big iron um, and you've got to get the heat on there fast because these things do not like getting hot uh, and you might damage them. So spot weld if you can. Uh, these aren't expensive. I'll simply find the price online. I did pay a lot for it. It's a 3D printed thing and somebody's put an Arduino board in it and 
um, and there you go so yeah well let's get on with it So this is the second side, so we bridge that side, now we're bridging this side to get 12 volts between there and there. Now if you just watch, just watch those cables there, if you can see them, just let me take. Oh yeah, you can see them. Just watch those cables there when I press this switch. So put the probes on, maybe 2-3mm apart. Can you see them? See it flexing? There's about 200 amps going through there. But what it does, I can show you there, is it spot welds. There's no way that's coming off. But that's there's no heat, no nothing. Superb way of doing it. There you go. I like to put two welds on each, so it'd be four dots. Uh, and that's that. That one done. Moving on. Quick note, always check, you've shorted that side out, so when you turn it over, make sure you don't short out the same set, because if you short that out there, and you've already shorted it out there, you're going to be in a whole world of pain, and that's going to go bang, and it goes quick, and there's a lot of energy in these, even though there's only 30% charge in them, there's going to be a lot of hot metal flying about, so pay attention. Okay, so that's our cells fastened together and also wired up for 12 volts beanie series. So before we move any further and join the two packs together and um, parallel them up, let's just double check, make sure everything's good so far. So, trust your multimeter, there's your negative terminal, opposite end, opposite diagonal is your positive terminal. So give it a quick fingers and thumbs here. Quick measure on there and uh, we've got 10.34 on there and what's that per cell? Alexa what is 10.34 divided by 3? 10.34 divided by 3 is 3.4467. There you go 3.44 volts per cell. That's its storage. And on that one we've got, should be 10.34, exactly, 10.34 volts on that one as well. So we know those two packs are matched, they have to be, because all the cells came with exactly the same voltage. So those two packs are matched, so we can now go ahead, fasten those together, and wire them up for parallel. Let's get on with that. Okay, so now, let's turn that off, now we should have our 10.3 volts between there and there, and it's all in parallel. So, trusty meter, so between that negative there, and that pause up there, let's see it. 10.34 volts. So there we go. 
six amps now instead of, th instead of three amps. Next, what we're going to need to do is we need to solder. Uh, this is another good reason for using the nickel strips. Uh, we can solder in between the cells. So when we want to connect our little bit of cable, such as this, we can go in between the cells. It heats up really quick. We're not heating the cell itself. Uh, and we can attach our cables thus. So that's our main outgoing neg. That's our main outgoing pos. It's also the main incoming. Uh, but also for the BMS, it needs to be able to measure each bank of cells. So this will be uh, cell number one. That'll be 4.2 volts. This will be cell number two. So that'll be 8.4. And this will be cell number three. That'll be 12.6. So just to show you what I mean. Well, it won't actually now, will it? be 3.4 because it's not charged. So, between the first set, so stay on the same negative. I'll keep that there like that. Stay on the same negative. So, this first bank, there you go. Oh, you can't see, can you? On this first bank, there you go. That will be 3.4. On the second bank, that is 6.89 and then on the third one back over this way again we have you can't see again we have 10.34 so that's cell one cell two cell three we should really bridge that as well but it's bridged up there uh, but we are going to need yeah I'll put one across there as well and one across there Okay, there we go, there's the BMS wired up. So you've got your 0 volts, 4.2 volts, which is the first cell, 8.4 volts, which is the second cell, and 12.6 volts, which is your third cell. This is your main power in and main power out, and that's all you need. That, that'll look after it. So we're going to wire this to the positive of the first cell, this to the positive of the second cell, and this one to the positive of the last cell cell and that is it the board looks after everything else now this cable is rated at six amps i think so bms is rated at 20 this is rated at six um depending on which charger you buy uh you're never going to charge these at more than two amps anyway it's never it's it's, uh, it's never going to kick out more than five or six anyway so um i wouldn't worry too much uh, this is actually silicon wire which is they're good to, to work with because the insulation doesn't melt um, when it gets hot when you're soldering. So let's get this wired up and then we're almost there.
Okay, so that's the BMS all wired up. Negative, cell 1, cell 2, cell 3. That's it. So we're just going to stick that down, tidy these cables up, and that's that's basically it. You just got to tidy this up, um, shrink wrap it. Jobs are good. Okay, that's the BMS fastened down, cables fastened down. Uh, what I like to do next is um, just for some added protection. These are quite tough anyway, but just for some added protection, I like to wrap the batteries that I build in like a, um, a foam sheet all the way around, top and bottom as well, just to give it that bit of protection, stop any uh, objects uh, getting through the heat shrink and shorting across and all the rest of it. So. What I normally do is just wrap them around uh, like a big parcel and fasten them up. So we'll do that. So here we go, there's your battery all wrapped in nice fancy foam so got no problems. So all we need to do now is wrap it in shrink wrap. Um, again available, all, all this crap's available on eBay and Amazon and all the rest of it. The cells, the plugs, the wire, the foam, the heat shrink, all the rest of it. Um, if any of you are doing this, because I hate this, because I've, I've had to buy a big chunk of heat shrink and uh, that'll last me two lifetimes so if any of you are doing it and you don't want to do that just drop me a line give me a shout send me a message and I'll cut a piece big enough and post it to you I'd rather spend what, what's a first class stamp now 30p I don't know I'd rather send you a piece than you go out and spend five quid just to get that and then have that sitting in the house for 30 years so yeah, just drop us a line, I'll send you some. So all we're going to do is pop that in there. Sometimes a bit tricky. It's going to be a foot pig now, isn't it? Just because the camera's on it. Come on, you know you want to. There we go. Yeah, it's cut to an approximate size. Yeah, that's approximately right. Get her hair dryer, or if you've got one, a heat gun. Make it toasty. Now all you need to do, trim these extra bits off if you want to, leave them on, whatever. And there you go. That is a 12 volt battery. Plug it in your pocket, plug your jacket in. You've got six amps, which will keep that jacket running on full for an hour. Well, I reckon we'll do some tests uh, and I'll let you know at a later date. But I reckon this will keep that jacket running on low, which is toasty warm anyway, for over two hours. So. We'll let you know. But there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Ride safe.